Sag Unit back on the PN account, I did want to fix this wall break issue. It's actually that's been bugging me and been trying to figure out how to resolve it um, as best possible. And I think I figured out a solution here. And so basically how the base was situated was it was pretty similar to how I have it right here, except the towers were out, out one here. When you do that, though, when you bring your tower here, what you need is you need a two spacing between the tower and the next wall here. So, so this wall was out one more space. So if I do full row and move it out, it was out here, right? That's where it was. That's how the base was situated. So by moving the towers in just one space each, I was able to then bring this wall in one space. That freed up a bunch of pieces. I also brought this wall in, or this tower in, and this tower in as well. And then just to round out the corner, so that that it would have looked like this normally, but then I brought in this one corner piece to the inside. What that does is it shortens the the amount of time it takes from a here be monsters, oops, from a here be monsters wave to path. So essentially, again, we'll use little flowers here as my example. If a here be monster wave pops right here, let's say right here, this is the worst spot for them to pop right at this flower right here. If they pop here, this is where they typically, if these buildings are already clear they're gonna basically go fight right through. Now if the buildings aren't clear, what they're gonna do is head to the building here. Now once they get through these buildings here, they're gonna, guess what? They're not gonna come all the way back over here to these buildings because they're gonna aggro onto this tower. And so that means they're gonna come straight into here and they're not gonna fight through any walls. Now, or if they pop over here, they're gonna do the same thing over here. So essentially what we're doing is we're putting our four army camps all at the corners of the base. Now the problem is though, is if let's say on the fourth wave when all the buildings are cleared something pops here do they then come here that's the problem they still might do that and so what I wanted to do here I'm gonna split test I had mentioned that where you have half your base one thing half your base another thing this base is really perfect for that so I'm gonna full row and I'm gonna level all of these up 360,000 gold to bring this to a level 8 wall it's easy to identify because it's the purple one it's the only purple wall the blues are the level 7 and the wood is the level 6 so I got a level 8 level seven and a level six walls here on this base and on this side I only have the two level seven walls plus the level sixes so again we're just testing here we know that they won't break through this section here so if a, a here be monster wave ever pops right here they're never gonna fight through this little section right here never through this wood section because it's so short for them just to walk around so you don't really have to worry about upgrading this wall in fact that could probably be a very low level wall I'd say level five wall the black one would be okay for this section even if you wanted another thing I did though was I needed to create some more buildings and so I created some mana mills and gold mines can you believe it I can't believe I created a gold mine guys it's like I never do that and so hey since my since we're gone for it let's go for it so I would say don't take these any higher than 10 but uh, what do I got here Yeah, I got some sevens that's okay it's kind of nice to log on and have like 50,000 gold there sitting there waiting for you here at a gold mine level 7 has 30,000 stored so if these are all filled up I'll log on and have 120,000 gold gets me a little magic anyhow so let's go ahead and drop our bombs and let's run this and see how we do here and uh, we'll be good and I, I did change my openings a little bit so I'm sort of like a half god bossy so it's no longer the pure form god bossy I don't I kinda I kind of like this, we're just one juts here, and that makes there be an opening of one. Now, obviously, I can't come two. I can't do that on both sides, right? Or, obviously, I'm going to close it down here, and then it won't be a closed base. It'll be an open base, and then that's a whole bunch of trouble. We don't want that. We know that that doesn't work through experience. And then let's go ahead, and we will take a... Drop our bombs here. And one thing, too, is I'll play all these... Uh, whenever I test a base, unlike many other folks on YouTube where they just show you one here be monsters hey if you're ba if your base beats here be monsters once that's fine and that's good and that's cool but if your base beats here be monsters the one that you're working on like C like we're working on five times straight or six times straight that says something much more powerful I don't really like to recommend a base until it can beat a wave six times straight with no loss so I'm going to play the first one maybe it's like three or four times speed video and then I'll play the rest of them at a really higher speed video and I'll, and I'll come back with commentary at the end and, I'll kind of let, and we'll just kind of recap what happened here. And uh, we're not going to change this base. We're going to test. We're not going to modify this base in between waves. We're simply going to see how it does six times. I have six built up here. And uh, 
we'll, we'll maybe make some changes then. Maybe we'll throw the whole base away. Who knows? Let's just find out how it does, and we'll go from there. And uh, so we won, we won three, lost two, and then I reverted the ba base back to how we had it designed at the beginning, and we we won that one as well. So lo at the end of the day, essentially the base design went uh, four wins with two losses on Here Be Monsters C. Now that's going to keep getting easier and easier and easier as as the arrow towers come up, and as the hero bases come up, and as our heroes level up. So being a four out of six at this point in time is actually pretty good. It's not perfect. You know, it's not what I wanted. I kind of wanted to have five, at least five out of six. So uh, I know we're getting close here. We're getting real close here to a highly tested base. And uh, enjoy the rest and keep it dirty. And as always, dirty up.